This is part four out of five on various types of buttonholes used on garments from the 18th century. This video will look at a fairly common type of buttonhole found on men's waistcoats and coats that combines open worked buttonholes and closed work buttonholes. Now, if you don't know how to do a buttonhole or are curious if the method you were taught was used in the 18th century, you might start by looking at the first video in this series that shows the basics, and there'll be a link in the description or click the button in the upper right hand corner. Like all the previous buttonholes, they are first marked in pencil or chalk or even based with thread, and the section of the buttonhole that is open is cut with a chisel to ensure a nice straight cut. Next, take your cording thread and make a stitch the entire length of the buttonhole. Start from the, starting from the open end, begin working your buttonhole stitches. Make a counterclockwise loop, the needle goes into the loop, then bites into the fabric and pull through. But don't pull too tight. When you get to the closed work section, you simply transition carefully onto the fabric and work a closed work buttonhole to the end. Bar tack the end and repeat down the opposite side. And don't forget your bar tack at the opposite end. To finish, run the edge of your iron along the buttonhole, being careful not to push the pearls or the little knots of the open section into the cut portion of the buttonhole. These are very commonly found on waistcoats and coats, so take your time and they will look great on your next project.